Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now there also exists an alternative method to find rational numbers between numbers. And do you know how? So by calculating mean of two numbers. Now between any two rational numbers a and b, there always exists a rational number a plus b by 2. What is this a plus d b by 2? This is nothing but the mean of a and b. Now I am sure you all know what is mean. You have learned about it in your previous class. So mean is nothing but the average of two numbers. So let us say you have two numbers say 3 and 5. So what would be the average of 3 and 5? So 3 plus 5 divided by 2, that is 4. So 4 is the number which lies midway between 3 and 5. So if this is 3, this is 5, 4 is the number that will lie exactly midway between 3 and 5. So that's what we mean by, that, that's what we understand by mean. So for any two rational numbers also, if we calculate their mean, that is a number which lies exactly midway between those two rational numbers. So here as you can see, a is less than a plus b by 2, which is less than b. So by calculating the mean also, we can find out the rational numbers between two rational numbers. So now let's see how are we doing that. So let's say this is the number line. Okay, let's say this is A and this is B and we have to calculate rational numbers between A and B. So first we calculate the mean of A and B. So that comes out to be A plus B by 2. And let us call this A plus B by 2 as a point C. So this point C is the midpoint between A and B. So we found out one number between A and B. Now we want to find more numbers between A and B. So what we do now let us try to find the mean between A and C. So when we find the mean of A and C we will be able to find a number which lies midway between A and C. Let us call that number as D. So what will happen? D will be equal to mean of A and C that is A plus C by 2. Similarly, we can find the mean between A and D. So that would be a number that would lie somewhere here. That would be E. So E will be the mean of A and D. That will be A plus D divided by 2. Similarly, we can find the mean of A and E. This will give a number that lies midway between A and D. Let's call this F. So F will be equal to A plus E divided by 2. So you see basically like this we are we have been able to find out how many rational numbers between A and B. C, D, E, F. So we could calculate some four rational numbers and if we keep continuing this process we will be able to calculate multiple rational numbers between any two rational numbers. So in a similar way we can also calculate mean between B and C. So that will give a number here. Again mean of these two will give a number here. Mean of these two will give a number here and so on. The process would continue. So in this way we could find C, D, E, F between two rational numbers A and B. So based on this alternative method of uh, finding rational numbers between two rational numbers, let us try to solve a few questions. Find five rational numbers between minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3. So in this case, the value of A is given as minus 3 by 2. Value of B is given as 5 by 3. So let us say if this is a number line where this is A, and this is B. So we have to find numbers between A and B. So let us try to find the mean of A and B which would be C. So C would be equal to mean of A and B that is A plus B divided by 2. So that would be minus 3 by 2 plus 5 by 3 divided by 2. So this would be equal to minus 9 plus 10 divided by 6 divided by 2. So this would be equal to 1 by 12. So 1 by 12 is one such number. Similarly, let us try to find the mean between A and C and let us call this point as D. So what would be the value of D? That would be equal to A plus C divided by 2. So that would be minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 12 divided by 2. So this would be equal to 1 by 2 into minus 18 plus 1 divided by 12. 
So this will be equal to 1 by 2 into minus 17 by 12 which is equal to minus 17 by 24. So this is again a number that lies between A and C. So A is less than, this number is less than C. Fine. Now let us try to find out the mean between B and C. So the mean between B and C would give a number between them. Let's call this as E. So E would be equal to B plus C divided by 2. So that would be equal to 5 by 3 plus 1 by 12 divided by 2. So this would be equal to 1 by 2 into 21 by 12. So this would be equal to 21 by 24. So this is a number between B and C. So till now we have found out three rational numbers. We have to find two more. Now let us try to find out the mean between C and D. So when you find the mean between C and D, you will be able to find a number here. Let's call that number as F. So F will be equal to C plus D divided by 2. That is 1, plus, 1 by 12 plus my, minus minus 17 by 24 divided by 2. So this will come out to be 1 by 2 into 2 minus 17 divided by 24. So this comes out to be minus 15 by 48. Yet one more again. So let's calculate the mean between C and E which would give a number g between them. So g would be equal to c plus e divided by 2, which will be equal to 1 by 12 plus 21 by 24, this entire thing divided by 2. So this comes out to be 1 by 2 into 2 plus 21 divided by 24, which comes out to be 23 by 48. So these numbers, that is, D, F, C, G, E. These are the numbers, these are five rational numbers that lie between minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3. Question number 2. Find three rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. So here also we will follow the same approach. So here A is equal to 3 by 5 and B is equal to 3 by 4. So here also, let's say if this is the number line, this is A and this is B. So let us calculate the mean between the two to find out C. So C would be equal to A plus B divided by 2, which is equal to 3 by 5 plus 3 by 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 1 by 2, 12 plus 15 divided by 20 which is equal to 27 by 40. Similarly, let's calculate the mean between C and A, that is this point which is D. So D will be equal to A plus C divided by 2, that is equal to 3 by 5 plus 27 by 40 divided by 2. So this value comes out to be 1 by 2, 24 plus 27 divided by 40. So this comes out to be 51 by 80. Similarly, let us try to calculate the mean between C and B. So let us call this point as E. So E will be equal to B plus C divided by 2. So that is equal to 3 by 4 plus 27 by 40 divided by 2. That is equal to 1 by 2, 27 plus 30 divided by 40. So this comes out to be 57 by 80. So these are the three rational numbers that is 27 by 40, 51 by 80, 57 by 80 which lie between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson on rational numbers and I hope that uh, you would have understood what rational numbers are and why are we studying the properties of rational numbers because they are going to help us in the long run. So when we talk about mathematics, we have to deal with many different types of numbers. So we will have to deal with rational numbers as well. So uh, 
practice more and more so that you get used to with how to deal with rational numbers. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.